was great. What a beat. What a sound. It's, it's, it's beyond new wave. If this record isn't on the top ten by the end of the week, I'll eat my multi-track digital delay unit. Where's that dog anyway? I want to take him out for a steak dinner. He made this track come alive. Gee, like, uh, I don't know. As soon as I opened the door, he ran out of the studio. Uh, maybe he doesn't like rock and roll. Just my luck. Well, at least I got him on tape. Let's get this recording over to the pressing plant. I think we've got a hit. A big, big hit. By the time Marmaduke arrived back home, Mr. and Mrs. Winslow had returned and things were back to their normal, chaotic state. Poor Marmaduke went to sleep right after dinner. He was dog-tired. What a day it had been. I think Marmaduke will be happy if he never hears rock and roll again. But he's not going to be that lucky. The very next week, when they had the house to themselves again, the kids turned on the radio, and guess what they heard? A new hit record by a group called The Dogs, with a backup singer whose voice sounded awful, I mean, awfully familiar. It's Marmaduke! <laughs> How embarrassing. But there's no stopping talent. That dog's a star! Woo-hoo! <laughs>